The Arctic blast eased its grip on much of the U.S. on Wednesday. Winds calmed and the weather warmed up slightly. But let's find out how the island of Hawaii is being affected by the recent change in weather. Desa Sanis reports from Hawaii. A cold outbreak called a polar vortex swept across the United States and at one point, all of 50 states experienced below freezing temperatures, including the big island of Hawaii. The Arctic blast that set record-breaking temperatures in North America likewise posed a dip in average temperatures at the Mauna Kea Observatory in the big island of Hawaii, where a temperature of 22 degrees Fahrenheit was reported. Early this week, flash flood and severe weather warnings were issued over the islands following rain and high winds that brought hail and thunderstorm to parts of the state. This cold snap was not only unusual to the residents here, who are normally accustomed to lower temperatures during the cold season, but to tourists and visitors as well. Well, for this year, 2014, at this time of the year, January, it seems that it's really much colder than the Januaries that we spent here in the previous years. We've been coming to Hawaii almost every two years, and uh, this is a different kind of cold that we are experiencing. And as you'd see, I'm wearing something uh, warm to keep me warm at this time. And, um, well, it looks like the weather is going through a lot of change this year, as early as January. It's like what's happening now in the United States and then back also in my home country at the moment, which is the Netherlands. Uh, we've been hearing reports and that the weather, that this is not a typical winter weather. Even the world-famous beaches in Waikiki are noticeably quiet with less people engaging in water activities. Hawaii boasts of its year-long warm tropical weather, but recently experienced unusually cold weather as well. Another cold front is expected to blanket the islands in the next couple of days, so tourists and locals are trying to experience the sun and sand as much as they can. From Honolulu, Hawaii, this is Desa Senas for Eagle News.